And this is 5 a.m. Master Scrum, episode 137. You know, please like and subscribe and share if you can. And uh, they're the one that's saying no. And the reason why I work, because I heard stuff and some reason in the car yesterday after I was picking up my kids and my wife from their uh, swimming class, um, is the word no. And I and I kind of felt it at the, the um, PI um, session the other day. And uh, the idea of no, right? And I was some reason I stalled on me, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this tomorrow. And maybe this is a really bad way of coaching, <laughs> it's a terrible way of coaching. But I have, and I know you have it. People who can't say no at all, they say yes to everything, and then you go, God, you said yes to that. We don't know, and what are you doing? And we're in the middle sprint, and someone came in, oh yeah, we can do that. Why do you say yeah? I had one gentleman a few years ago, a uh, developer, and he, a lot of people couldn't say no, and people do. So one day, as a, and as a terrible coaching, I mean, I would not recommend this. Maybe you do it, maybe you don't. It depends how you do it, because I am, I'm, you know, I'm who I am. It's not like I'm doing, but the guy couldn't say no to anything. He kept saying yes. I knew it. I'm like, dude, you can't do this. There's no way. I've been doing this stuff for 30. And this is no. He says, yes, I can. Okay. So I, I did a thing. I'm like, look, dude, you got to learn how to say no. Yes. No, no. I said, you need to learn how to say no. And this went on for like, I think in like five minutes, probably more like a minute or two. But let's say it's five minutes. And then I got to the point. You know what? I said, dude, I said, give me $5. He said, yes. I'm not, okay, give me $5 right now. Yes. Give me $5. Yes. Y give me $5. Yes. This is how you're doing. I said, no, no, seriously. I want $5. Give me $5 right now. I want $5. Yes. I'm like, see, you can't say no. And I can find something. I said, like, look, I'm asking you to give me five bucks. You can't even say no to not give me five bucks. Right? Finally. I said, give me five bucks. He said, no. I said, yes. You actually said no to a request that someone gave you. See, it wasn't that hard. It didn't hurt. It was okay. Maybe this is a really weird way of coaching and how to get someone to do it. But he needed the dawn in his brain that it's okay to say no. And you can say no. Every answer does not have to be yes. Sorry. It doesn't have to be yes. Some people are in green. They say yes. What everybody says, you say yes. And I'm like, that's not how it works because you're giving false note and you're miscommunicating, you know, because you said yes. It's not yes, I'll think about it. No, it's yes. You just told them that you would do it. That's what that definition means. So <laughs> it was a weird thing. Like I said, for five minutes, I go, give me five bucks. And he would say yes. I'm like, oh, okay, give me the five bucks now. Take it out of your pocket. Give me the five bucks. Yes. I'm like, no, seriously. Give me five bucks. I want your five bucks out of your pocket. Give it to me now. And it took him like a minute or two after I said, look, you can say no to giving me five dollars. It's OK. And then finally, in the end, he says, when I said, give me five dollars, he said, no. And I go, yes, that's exactly what you should have said in the first place. And that didn't hurt that much, did it? I don't know why it dawned on me why I wanted to tell that story. But just watching these people say we can do things and not understanding risks, I'm like, no, you have a major risk. And they're probably not going to meet what you just said, what I just heard, and what you're telling people. You have to say no, and you have to be able to say no to balance out your commitments. And, you know, that's one of the things we always talk about. It's how you get home at a decent time. You don't overcommit. So this trend on this thing is knowing your risks, don't overcommitting for things you don't have commitment on and the being able to say no. I'd really like to know if somebody else had an experience like that where they had to do that. 47, we're late. Hey, we're going live, going live, we're live. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope you're doing well. It is Friday, yay. So I don't know about, some people it's already done the whole week's over. So good for you for overseas. This is episode 137 of the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. And here we talk about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way so that you can get home to your family or friends quicker, faster, better, and also deliver software and products, not just software, but other things, 
and we talk about other things outside of software and IT um, to your customers quicker, faster, better without the stress and the craziness, but also with some fun. And we are going to do Fortune Cookie Friday. Went got some fortune cookies yesterday. So.